Hello, um, welcome to this session of Asura Tumumba Consultancy and today we are going to be looking at um, automotive um, diagnostics. So um, if you look at this, my computer, so um, I'm just going to be showing you some software, um, automotive um, diagnostics software. And we are not going to be doing typical scanning. What we're just going to be doing tonight is uh, we'll just be doing we'll just be doing um, looking at automotive and there is and diagnostic software. So now um, one software I have is this software. It's OBD Dotto. OBD Auto Dotto. Um, this software comes from um, this software comes from um, it's compatible with uh, Bluetooth um, ELM devices and um, maybe some other Bluetooth um, diagnostic software so um, in such software for ELM devices or Bluetooth uh, devices or other software as we got um, diagnostics one major thing we're going to see we usually see um, various menus like um, in the software different software designers use different um, menus like now if we connect this um, software to the vehicle you are going to be seeing some of the details of the vehicle as you can see this is the display for the uh, details of the vehicle you have license plate okay let me go closer to the identification number of this and that's connected so if you look at this ng code not connected readiness meter not connected frame phrase not connected a lot uh, are not connected when you come over to the other way summary trouble code diagnostics but it's a real stress so I think um, because we are not connected we can actually do a lot okay let's go back somewhere now yeah open connection in case you want to connect like i told you this is a bluetooth um, device um, software that is compatible with bluetooth so okay we can see connect automatic uh, you know the various obd protocol have various um, i would put it the various obd protocols have various um, um, models of various operating technology so these are the various so when you have a device you can uh, select which of them you want to work with but um, automatic would automatically select it for you so that should be your best option selecting the automatic uh, menu for this software others may not display such to this then um, we have option here yeah, okay depending um, Bluetooth in case you are working I think this software is more universal when you are working with Bluetooth you select Bluetooth when you are working um, using your serial port your USB port you select this and on Wi-Fi um, compatible device you select that device name you make sure you multiple and use this use manner settings uh, device address if you have um, Bluetooth or Wi-Fi you can use this mono settings and you connect for so Bluetooth um, you can search search uh, select device and others so connect so actually we're not connected to anything yet because we are not operating any um, check so that's for that uh, 
another way to connect is simply let's go back and click in this it gives you that same menu quick connect that is the title there quick connect and yeah um, this one because I have not connected in case one wanted to disconnect it should have been this disconnect that is when you are connected but now we are yet to connect now trouble codes what are trouble codes so as you can see we have trouble codes here on that trouble codes you are going to see confirm dct pending dct permanent dct freeze frame dct database wow so uh we are going to look at the database is um, quite much <laughs> just like all the fourth codes possible that can be scanned and with their various cars and all that waiting here so um, this software is still on the trial version trial version of this software so um, we haven't registered it um, I didn't register it because okay this is the uh, a trial version as you can see so um, these are the various flood code and their descriptions so uh, well, all the flood code that this some um, software can detect or concern and we know what is description. Descriptions are just the the names you can see them. So if you get our books, uh, that's our course on uh, our book automotive diagnostic technology, you will be able to see the description of every of these first code and their um, implication and others. You are generic and specific, so. I think this is a lot of material for us. So that's that. This is the database. So when you have scanned the first is it's confirmed DCT. It's going to show you the consistency, the code, the system, the manufacturing industry. Just as we have this over here, code system and a power train body. Uh, then the manufacturing the decision so it's going to show you that's a simple where it's going to display the same to penny code permanent code that code that have not been fixed and have been there so free stream if you want a free stream you want to um, do a quick um, freeze or something like that that's for that so these are the database so you can um, assume that when you scan you are gonna have a code like this so this is just a simple um, software that works with a code reader and this code reader um, that works with a code reader and this um, code reader or uh, these codes are usually have two um two functions they read and tell you the fourth then they can clear the fourth code also uh those are the two major job functions like your elm and other smaller and simpler um, code readers so those are their functions so this is what this um, software will help you do perfectly well so if you want to scan you just come uh, after connecting you can click this see when you've connected and you just scan this you click this ng codes and that is it scans for you or uh, maybe you come here trouble code okay these are the codes you just come click this 
that's after it's connected click this and it scans for you so very simple to operate very direct so i think we are here at penny code permanent code free stream and yes okay if you want uh, depending on what you want you can simply use uh, Twitter, program, blah 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 blah. So now let's go to monitoring. Monitoring is going to show you the various sensors and um, monitoring is going to show you the various sensors, the uh, graphs and all that, but you can't see them now because we are not connected. So you're yeah, gonna see a lot of graph um RPM colon pressures a lot a lot so let me come closer so you're gonna see sensors graph um the video sensors everything you're gonna see a lot and it's gonna be quite much so you're gonna if you want them in form of histogram you can still have them whatever you want so monitoring is going to help you with that then let's try one to have an extra oh these are information of the ECU in case you want information of the ECU now um, this extra has a lot of information um, we have um, the ECU information, ECU description, vehicle identification number, VN, calibration, um, identification, um, vehicle calibration, verification, calibration, verification number, um, engine, serial number, exhaust, these exhaust um, regulation approval type number. These are some of the most important numbers you need. You know, we need our VN identification of the vehicle for part vent, calibration of our incident for doing SCN um, system calibration um, especially when you are changing some parts and you are doing a lot of replacement job programming these are very important very very important so uh, a command prompt another data log the various data logs so this software is cool. Um, it's, this is just a typical explanation of a software. When you go to edit, you can edit profile and all that app. You can go to the other site, activate. So OBD, lessons, check, update, blah, 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 blah. So um, edit, like I said, vehicle profile preferences, vehicle profile you can come and edit your vehicle profile, select the image and all that stuff. If you want to celebrate, select the image, maybe you have a particular vehicle you are using, a particular vehicle, you can create a profile for that vehicle so that anytime you check, you just know what you're doing, at least for personal use and all that. So, um, this is one of the softwares you have. Uh, this is simple, a basic um, view of the software. Like we said, um, there are different type of software and different type of design, but all work together. So um, this is one of the softwares. And you know, we just made a general view of it. Just quickly go through it. Summary the front page and you have the summary if you want to scan free screen, quick shortcut for you to do whatever ng code your quick scan your to check your monitor slash your that your, your rpm and other values you want to do free frame quickly here's the vehicle information written here uh, trouble code you want to know the trouble code after scanning you can have them here confirm Trouble code twenty. Um, permanent blah blah blah. Monitoring. You just want to go to monitoring. Monitor your various sensors, graph, Instagram. 
whatever the case extra PC information also and data log so um, it's all encompassing beautiful software beautiful um, package simple to use and even like just every surface simple when you come down yeah um, you're gonna see some stuff connection not available um, interface not available protocol not available now you will ask how do we clear that uh, when you see it come closer had we um, finished scanning just to clear and you can clear off uh, data log okay let me go to trouble code now to clear the city that is clearing of what code you see this place you have to clear the city yeah you have exports and refresh so this is how you clear the city here after you scan it gives you a fourth code and you can easily clear them very simple um, after our scanning we're going to be doing a lot thank you very much god bless you um, this man also automotive consultancy so um you're going to watch more for videos thank you